What's up everybody, it's a boy Mew here. Check it out. So I'm alert, my skin looks really bad by the way. I don't know what's, I don't really know what's up with that. I'm sorry guys. Um, so I have a pretty bad nut allergy. I'm not gonna die if I'm near nuts, but if I'm around, if I eat any nuts that aren't hazelnuts, even just a little bit, uh, that aren't walnuts, sorry, just a little bit, um, I start projectile vomiting, it's horrifying. So check it out, really big zipper. You open it up, bam, two EpiPens in here in case I start dying. Um, and it's actually kind of crazy. I've never really carried around my EpiPens. Um, they've always been at the public school I went to, um, just in the office, but uh, you know, now they're gonna be with me in my backpack because my college doesn't really offer that service. Um, so it's gonna be in here in my backpack, which is cool uh, and nice, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm just hanging out today. Uh, check out my vault. Check it out. Uh, one sec. Sorry, that was my parents. Uh, check out my my vault. Check it out. Check out my my graph. Whoa! It's purple. Um. So I had notes during my business 236 class and I wrote a lot of them on my laptop. Um, and it's just like stuff on this like assignment for like emotional intelligence. And this is my response to um, the questions after that. Um, but there's this thing on like empathy and like self-awareness and stuff. And I was just, you know, the notes on Vault or the notes on Obsidian are supposed to be atomic. So this looks like empathy. Empathy is what it means to be in another person's shoes. The theory, right, I made the empathy note because it was just a thing in this list. The thing is, is in this class we are going to be talking about empathy a lot, and in the future I'll have more to say about empathy, but for now it's just like one sentence. But in the future, it'll be crazy. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, and, you know, there's also, you know, generally, um, generally school was pretty good today. Uh, there was, there was like, um, yeah, so in, in English 101, um, my, uh, so the way, the way it works is it's going to be like a rough draft and then you send that to the teacher and he looks at it and gives you criticism and then he sends it back to you and then you do your final draft and you turn it in and it's graded. Um, but he was like, does anybody want to put their essay up on the board? Cause it was going to be due on Wednesday. It's due on Friday now. Cause a lot of people didn't finish it in time, but I did luckily, but um, he was like, does anybody want to have their essay put on the board? And in my head, I was thinking, man, um, you know, if I put my essay up on the board and the teacher criticizes it, that's like two, that's like two draft sessions. That's two drafts that I'm doing. And you know, that's pretty incredible, you know, cause so I'm going to have my, like my rough, rough draft, which I'm going to turn in now. Um, no, I, I did my rough, rough draft. And then today he viewed it in class and he was criticizing the essay. And so then that turns into my rough draft. And then I turned in my rough draft, then he criticizes it, then I edit it, and then it... So I'm gonna have double, I'm gonna have double the, the criticism than, than other classes, so... That's just crazy. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so... So this is my draft, and he gave, like, some pretty interesting criticisms, so... Um, I, it's kind of weird to try and like note it on uh, Obsidian, but uh, you know, uh, this whole thing was sort of a was like a little too verbose. I could I didn't even need to say any of this because, um, I like I could have described modern conditions better, and um, I misunderstood the hiatus here. There aren't three types of time in society and culture. There are only two types of time. There's leisure time and vacant time. But the thing is, is that the word leftover time was used to define the word vacant time. And I wasn't, I wasn't making sure of the antecedent. And the antecedent is like, when you start a sentence with it, it is the antecedent, right? It's like the subject, right? It's just a fancy way to say subject. Um, and the thing is, is that in this definition of vacant time that Arendt was using, um, she had used... Um, Leftover time is the antecedent, and I miss that. 
Um, and it's actually a little funny because at the beginning of class, like when classes started, he was like, hey, everybody, be sure to always keep track of the antecedent because it'll, it'll bite you, right? Always keep track of the antecedent. And I didn't keep track of the antecedent. And now, uh, my, like, a paragraph of my essay is like sort of moot because it's, it's based off of like a false impression, um, which is fair, which is good because it's better than if I had just turned in my rough draft and I learned that. But it's good that I learned that before I even turned in my rough draft. So I'm happy about that. Um, he also had this thing where it was like points of a good essay and I just, I just wrote, I just wrote this, like what he wrote about, um, yeah. And you know, it was pretty good. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about my, about my graph. Um, but yeah, that's it. All right. See you dude. Oh yeah. And then I had my business class. I had to buy my textbook. It's in my backpack right now. I had to buy a textbook. I was sort of holding out until I had to buy one, and then we ended up using it in class today, and I didn't have one, so I bought a textbook today. It was like $77 after tax, which is just so crazy. But, um, you know, what? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think... Yeah, so I bought the textbook, um, and then I just worked on my business stuff my interpersonal communication stuff, which is the, the purple stuff on this graph. Um, and what else? Yeah, then I had math class. And I was a little confused about some stuff on the math homework, but um, my teacher ended up helping me with it. He ended up telling me what the problem was. And so I, I know how to do the math homework now. And luckily the math we did today was easy. It was like teaching us how graphs work. And I don't know, I did calculus last year. I know how to do graphs, you know. Um, so, you know, it's just interesting. Uh, yeah, all right, see you, dude.